Warning. Channel Robazoid contains adult language, adult content, strong opinions, and verbal brutality. Viewer discretion is advised. <laughs> What's up, everybody? It is I, the Robozoid, your semi-likable and occasionally tolerable curmudgeon of the YouTube airwaves, coming at you with another video. And this one, I've decided I'm not going to do what everybody else is doing because it's a waste of my time. I couldn't care less about what Bill Maher is saying today. I couldn't care less about Charlemagne the Fraud. Maybe I'll talk about that later. I don't know. But I wanted to talk about something else here. And that is President's Day, which is today. And, well, quite frankly, I just find the whole thing to be a complete ripoff. Because, do you remember the days when we actually used to have the two separate holidays of Washington's birthday and Lincoln's birthday? You know, Lincoln's was on the 12th, Washington's was on the 22nd. And uh, those actually did used to be considered separate paying holidays, um, if you can believe that. I mean, I know that's kind of hard for young kids today to fathom, but then again, my channel is not meant for young kids. This channel is meant for people my age and a little older, you know, the Generation X crowd, and uh, maybe even the baby boomers too, I suppose. But let's face it, folks, nobody, and I mean absolutely no one under 40, is entitled to this channel. Well, okay, there are a few viewers under 40 who do watch this channel, and God bless you, if you're still in your 30s, okay, fine. But really, um, we're the ones who are old enough to remember, quite frankly, when Washington's birthday and Lincoln's birthday used to be considered separate holidays. But now, of course, thanks to the agenda-driven left, well, that had to be taken away from us and just morphed into President's Day. Oh, Lord. When are you people going to learn that not every president is worth celebrating? In fact, I could think of quite a few rogues who don't even deserve such recognition. Now, this is a list of all 46 presidents we've had so far. And let's, let's face it, not all of them are worth the recognition. Not all of them are worth praise. Not all of them are uh, even worth putting up on a pedestal. Well, I know what you're thinking. You're probably thinking it's it's guys like Nixon and probably Bush Sr. and Reagan and, well, the junior Bush that aren't worth the praise. Well, to an extent, the Bushes are not. But I would say that Nixon actually is. Um, and also so is Reagan. He's worth the praise. And certainly so is Washington and Lincoln, the guys we're supposed to be talking about here. Now, since when is Bill Clinton ever worth any recognition? Since when is Obama worth recognition? Since when is Biden worth any recognition? You tell me that. Not to mention that lying anti-Semitic pig Jimmy Carter. I mean, quite frankly, this moron is just clinging on for dear life. And, well, I don't know why, because his wife is already gone. So what's he hanging around for? I mean, Trump definitely worth the recognition. I mean, Reagan, also worth the recognition because he revitalized this country. Trump's trying to do the same thing, and who knows, maybe he will be the 47th. I mean, it would be kind of funny to have him pictured here twice, but I guess you get the idea. To illustrate a point here, why is MLK deserving of his own holiday in January when, quite frankly, um, neither Washington nor Lincoln deserve the recognition anymore? Well, I think the answer is obvious. I think it has to do with skin color, because that's the way it seems to be gone these days. Yeah, and I hate to be playing the RAS card here, but it just seems a little bit morassist to me that, quite frankly, we should hold one black man up on a pedestal over two very important white men. What the hell is that about? So, there you have it, really. Um, quite frankly... Not all the presidents deserve such recognition. Yeah, just forgive, hold on a second here. I'm working on a video that'll probably show up before this one. And that's the Monday memes, of course. You know, that's how, how that sort of thing works. This one's called Monday Memes and Schemes. It'll be up before this video, of course. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, quite frankly, do you really think all the presidents deserve such recognition? I really don't, to be quite frank with you. I don't think they deserve such recognition. And one more thing I'm going to ask here. 
Why take away Washington's birthday and Lincoln's birthday as separate holidays when you still have MLK Day, Martin Luther King Jr. Birthday Observance Day? Why? I mean, why? what makes one black man more important than two white men? I don't understand any of that. I personally think this is just another form of morassisms, which I hate to cry racism over because only left-wing idiots do that. So why do we even have MLK Day when that should be changed to Civil Rights Day? If you're going to change Washington and Lincoln's birthday into President's Day, then change MLK Day to Civil Rights Day. Fair is fair. I think that's all I got to say on this matter. This has been The Robozoid saying, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, smash that like button, subscribe to this channel, and also remember that wokeness is weakness. Also remember that if you are still subscribed, make sure that you are. YouTube does have a nasty habit of doing stupid stuff like that, unsubscribing people without their knowledge. And also remember that we need the power to the people back, not the politicians, obviously. And the power to the music in the streets, and that is the music of our voices in uprise and revolt against this woke politics political climate that's going on right now. Peace.